hello everybody in today's video I'm gonna show you how to install individual trolley body system on E30 M20 B25 engine this particular intake system is from this company the bill is dynamic installation is easy you're gonna use your 12 millimeter nuts from original intake manifold with washers so the previous owner owner installed this but uh, routed uh, all of these vacuum lines improperly so the engine didn't run right and I looked online and I couldn't find any information on how to install it properly. They still sell this uh, system from Germany. It's like 2,200 euros or something like that. So you can see the vacuum distribution box. That's not needed. You can just connect all the vacuum lines under the manifold and hide them all. And it's gonna look just spaghetti underneath it but uh, this came with the car so I'm just gonna use this um, distribution box you don't get that when you buy this intake system from the billis this is the throttle body cable part part number and this is the early version. On the later version, they routed this throttle cable underneath the manifold, underneath the intake box. Right, so here we go. So this is the uh, vent line from the fuel tank. Basically, just goes to the vacuum line and connects to the vacuum. These are the vacuum sources on each throttle body. Previ previous owner uh, balanced and adjusted all of these throttle bodies for the same flow for this engine so I don't have to do that I don't have the meter anyway and this is where you connect the fetal pressure regulator to there there's a on so under the throttle body cylinder number five there is a nipple that connects to the vacuum source and that goes to the booster brake booster so the brake booster has a vacuum source throttle body switch has to move all the way to the end right here let me see if you can hear it switching yeah you, you adjust it properly and it's gonna plug in stock harness has to be stripped just a little bit I mean this insulation so the wires can reach all the way over there this is the idle speed motor and connects under each pair of the throttle bodies there's a provision for it you see the line and then this goes to the intake box so what's left is for me to install the intake box this is a breeder hose just plugs in looks clean and as you can see this uh, vacuum distribution box sitting up here but it can all this can be moved under the intake box for cleaner look in order for this intake boot this is the part number it's actually a BMW part in order for it to fit properly power steering tank has to be moved down a little bit you can see where the um, idle motor plugs in this is the clearance that you can that you get like so you get like a quarter inch up to half inch 10 millimeter 
clearance to the booster. And then on this vehicle, heater hoses are deleted, but it looks like there's enough room for the heater to, to be connected. So this is it, installed Dibilas Dynamic Individual Throttle Body Intake System for M20. It all fits fine and idles fine and runs fine. Installs in maybe one hour you can install it. Brake assist is the same as stock when you install it properly. So there's like a spacer in here, rubber spacer, that allows this intake boot to clamp properly on the airflow meter. And I made this bracket so it holds the everything. Power steering reservoir have to be uh, moved. All I did is unbolt it here and just pushed it down. And it's, and it's there, it's not moving anywhere. I managed to make a air filter system on it. I don't like the fact that it's basically a hot air intake, but that's what I have to work with for right now until I make a better one. I really can't feel any difference stock intake manifold versus individual throttle bodies. Feels the same, maybe the intake noise is louder. It feels the same. Nail it now. See, it sounds about the same. The runners for each cylinder is 45 millimeter wide on this system and this is going to be it for this video if you enjoyed this watch other videos on my channel like subscribe and I'll see you in the next E30 video